The number of multiracial Americans is up 33% since 2000. Experts say it's bound to shake up a nation used to measuring everything from school achievement to voting trends in single race terms. So what am I? I'm a wife, a mother, a daughter, a friend. I'm multiracial. My existence challenges racial perceptions and boundaries. On forums, I usually check other, but other is kind of dehumanizing. It's like, I don't have my own category. I definitely have like a sense of anxiety, especially when I was younger and I didn't really understand what the question was asking, you know, like check one because I'm both. For a lot of mixed race people, that can be a source of conflict. Obama's election brought a lot of attention to multiraciality. In addition to the debates about he's just as much white as he is black, that then raises the issue of, well, what is he? President Obama is a really good example of, in some ways, the role of socioeconomic status in affecting how someone is seen. Nobody is ready to claim um, O.J. Simpson as being part white because, obviously, he has a much more checkered past. Many people believe that they can look at someone and infer their race. There are uh, outward physical characteristics that many people associate with one race versus another race. If those genetic variations led to differences that were invisible to us, the whole concept of race, I think, would never have even been conceived of. I think it would be a lot easier if there was a box that chose either than other biracial. If they choose African American, you know, look at Dublin. He's gonna check the box African American, he's about as white as I am. You know, the teacher, you're not only gonna have the teacher, you're gonna have the principal, you're gonna have the counselor. He's not African American. If there was a box that said biracial, people would think, oh, yeah, he could be biracial. And I think that's what we need.